It's finally here for me to talk about it, and I'm not going to jump into spoilers at the very beginning of this, so once we start getting towards the end and I just start talking about how certain things had me feeling, definitely take your leave if you have not watched it, and I highly recommend you watch this movie, sub or dub, um, if you want to reach out to me, uh about a place where you can get it or like watch it i could try to help you out i just can't i can't actually send links in my comment section so you have a better chance uh hitting me up on twitter and then i can just i uh, dm you through twitter a link to the video but this movie was ridiculously hype man i'm still gonna probably go see it in theater or at least i'm gonna watch it again Without the time constraint of uh, work and stuff like that being right on my heels. I'll probably watch this a couple of times. But man, was this worth a watch. This was worth its time. Not only was the animation on point. But the whole entire story narrative. Giving us more information through these dreams that had taken place. Was very cool in itself. Not only that. There was a lot of question of just how much stronger are these other, you know, head samurais. And even better question, how much stronger are the other demons who are not of the lower section of the eyes, right? Like the higher up numbers, how strong are they? And what do they bring to the table? All of those questions got answered. Uh, amazingly <laughs> absolutely amazingly so not only was it very cool to see you know what our main character would love to do and spend time with his family if they were still around it started getting pretty obvious when throughout the whole entire scene certain family members weren't there and it made a lot of sense for our main character to be the one to kind of pull out of it because he had the most help from outside as well the UNESCO not being uh, a part of the dreaming so of course she was going to help him before anyone else or even attempt anyone else so that was pretty obvious but with how this whole entire train <sighs> how this whole entire train situation is handled it could have been a good amount of episodes like five five to four episodes of just this train so when you think of it like that it kind of makes you wonder if they're going to back away from doing the anime as much as they're going to do the movie because not only was this movie like canon and leads us into the next story arcs and stuff like that Movies don't usually do that with animes. Usually they take a whole different approach where it's just something else that's happening. And it doesn't really end the story or progress the story of the anime. It just happens. We've only been seeing it recently in like God. Uh, God of Destruction and Resurrection F with Dragon Ball Z. Um, there's not very other animes that are just taking a movie route just to progress the future of a series though so if you guys have made it this far this is where the spoilers are going to get a lot heavier so if you are gonna leave thank you so much for the support in the videos your boy anime g is here but if you're staying for the spoilers <laughs> Spoilers shall do you well. Now, nah, but... Ah, spoiler talk. How are they gonna do the fire guy like that? How are they gonna do him like that? Man, he was such an amazing character. To think that we're never going to have any more character progression for him, or story narrative and have them talking to other characters i mean we might see some past 
relationships that he's had with the other, other samurais. But that's still kind of like iffy, right? I mean, regardless, it's going to be stuff in the past that just might not do it for us. But the flame guy from start to finish of the show was absolutely a monster. Even when he was asleep, he was doing some monstrous things. <sighs> it definitely sucks to see not only him go down, but the way this demon wins kind of doesn't make sense for the future. Um, I guess another sword will have to be made for our main character because he straight up threw that thing as far as possible and it actually stuck into the demon and I don't think he's just going to take it out all willy-nilly. I think it's going to be something that he carries with him all the way back seeing how it really frustrated him to hear some weakling saying don't run away. Um, Outside of that, though, the battles, my favorite character, Sleepin, doing his lightning thing. The boar really is growing on me. You know, Ske? He is truly, truly growing on me as a character. I want to see him grow and become very powerful and very, uh, even more entertaining than he already is. So it's just, so much pops off in this movie, and to think that, it just never stopped. Like, as soon as the tickets got involved, from there on, it was just... <laughs> Loved it. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, people that have been waiting on it and patiently wondering about it, if it's worth the wait and all that stuff, it definitely is. Watch it at the best that you can. Um... Because to be fair, watching it on the phone was cool. But to think that I'm going to go watch it on a big screen once I'm off work is probably going to change my opinion a lot more on the fighting animation and just some of the stuff that we saw with the higher demon in general. So, with all that being said, everybody, I hope you are having an amazing day, night, evening, wherever the case may be. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I definitely enjoyed me some Demon Slayer movie. 10 out of 10 movie, I mean, it says itself in the gross office of the money it's making, so let's give it up for anime right now because it is doing huge things, especially Demon Slayer for the future of animes and the future of movies, they're doing big things for everyone, let's pray for a Yu Yu Hakusho reboot or Samurai Shampoo, <laughs> but with all that being said, take care everybody, peace.